Hello! My name is Ilias Loban. I'm an expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, and Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I'm on a website called TrustedCoins.com where at the time of the making of this film I have over 6,800 authentic ancient coins and artifacts available for sale. Every coin that I sell, every item that I sell, comes complete with a beautiful professionally done certificate of authenticity. Of course, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and my signature. I'm known worldwide as a numismatic and antique expert that has identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts. Every coin specifically, this, this is a silver coin of Roman Emperor Augustus by the way, comes in a professional numismatic flip. The numismatic flip allows you to look at the front of the coin and in the back of the coin without taking out the protective covering. And it has a short description that has a unique number that matches the certificate. So you can take this part off, carry it with you, put it in a safe place, do what you will with it. Uh, but you could put it back together because the number matches, especially has the name on it. The description is professionally done, many times citing a major reference or collection in numismatics. And on the back you get the historical context of the item that you have purchased. So whether you're giving this as a gift or whether you would like to make what I believe to be one of the best investments out there, I would say probably the best, because I think it's the best, um, you may want to visit my site trustedcoins.com. Today I'm going to be discussing Roman Emperor Valens. This is the portrait of Valens, this is how he looked like. I have many coins of Roman Emperor Valens, who was the brother of Valentinian I in my store. You may want to check that out. Now for his biography. Valens was the Eastern Roman Emperor from 364 to 378 AD. He was given the eastern half of the empire by his brother, Valentinian I, after the latter's accession to the throne. Valens and his brother, Valentinian, were both in Cibeli, into an Illyrian, born into an Illyrian family in 328 and 321, respectively. They had grown up on estates purchased by their father, Gratian the Elder, in Africa and Britain. While Valentinian had enjoyed a successful military career prior to his appointment as emperor, Valens had spent much of his youth on his family's estate and only joined the army in the 360s, participating with his brother in the Persian campaign of Emperor Julian. In 364 AD, Valentinian was proclaimed Augustus. Valentinian felt that he needed the help to govern the large and troublesome empire and on the 28th of March the same year appointed his brother Valens as co-emperor in the palace of Hebdomon. The two Augusti traveled together through Adrianople and Naesis to Sirmium where they divided their personnel and Valentinian went to the west. Valens obtained the eastern half of the empire, Greece, Egypt, Syria, and Anatolia as far east as Persia. Valens was back in the capital of Constantinople by December of 364 AD. Procopius was able to convince two military unions passing through the capital to proclaim him emperor on 28th of September 365 AD. Procopius won favor quickly by using propaganda to his advantage. He sealed off Constantinople to outside reports and began spreading rumors that Valentinian had died. He began minting coinage flaunting his connections to the Constantinian dynasty. And he further exploited dynastic claims by using the widow and daughter of Constantius II to act as showpieces for the regime. When the news arrived that Procopius had revolted, the violence considered abdication and perhaps even suicide. Valens sent two legions to march with Procopius, who easily persuaded them to desert to, to him. Later that year, Valens himself was nearly captured in a scramble near Chalcedon. Troubles were exasperated by the refusal of Valentinian to do any more than to protect his own territory from encroachment. The failure of imperial resistance in 365 allowed Procopius to gain control of the Diocese of Thrace and Asiana by year's end. 
Only in the spring of 366, Valens assembled enough troops to deal with Procopius effectively. Valens proceeded into Phrygia, where he defeated Procopius' general Gamorius at the Battle of Thyatira. He then met Procopius himself at Nicolaea and convinced his troops to desert him. Procopius was executed on the 27th of May, and his head was sent to Valentinian in Trier for inspection. The Gothic people in the northern region had supported Procopius in his revolt against Valens. In 369, Valens attacked the northeasterly Gothic tribe, defeating them. Athenaric pled for treaty terms, and Valens gladly obliged. The treaty seems to have largely cut off relations between Goths and Romans, including the free trade and exchange of troops for tribute. In 375, Valens' older brother, Valentinian, suffered a burst blood vessels in his skull while in Pannonia, which resulted in his death on the 17th of November 375 AD. Gratian Valentinian's son and Valens' nephew had already been associated with his father in imperial dignity and was joined by his half-brother Valentinian II, who was elevated at his father's death to Augustus by the imperial troops in Pannonia. Valens marched against the confederated barbarian army on 9th of August 378 AD, which became known as the Battle of Adrianople. Valens was struck in the face by a Gothic. He wore no helmet to encourage his men. This action turned the tide of the battle, which resulted in a tactical victory, but a strategic loss. Valens was known as the last true Roman. So thank you for visiting my site called TrustedCoins.com for authentic ancient coins of this emperor and others.